We're starting the vlog in the grocery store this morning. We woke up and Gus wanted biscuits and gravy and that sounded like a great idea because I'm sick of French toast. And Dix is playing with his, well I guess more so chewing, on his uh, elephant. I almost said monkey. But we have some juice, sausage down there. Now we're in the baby food aisle because they have like the organic baby food. I like the Beech Nut brand and this is what I normally buy is this one because it doesn't have water or citric acid or anything like that added to it so I've been really liking this brand for him but here they have like organic and I think that's about it yeah but they have organic so I think I might try to get some because like this one I think would be good apple raspberry and avocado that sounds pretty good yeah and then all it has is organic apples organic raspberries and organic avocado I see everybody buying the pouches which they're really convenient like I totally agree with that but for me like I'm totally afraid that they're gonna have like mold or something in them because you can't you can't see inside of them like I've heard on the news of like people finding like mold and just stuff in them I don't know it freaks me out so I haven't bought any yet I don't know if I'll ever overcome that fear we go in to get stuff for biscuits and gravy and we end up buying a box of diapers because it was $27 for 124 diapers which is an awesome deal because if you go to like Target, I price matched it. Do you want me to sit back here with you? I'll sit back here with you. As I was saying, at Target it would be like $34 for the exact same pack so it was a really good deal and I know I said I wasn't going to buy Pampers again but $27 for 124 diapers is sadly a a good deal. I think we could sacrifice a couple more blowouts to save us $10. Yeah, we got stuff for biscuits and gravy and some very squished donuts. That's my fault. So, it's okay. But there's a strawberry and cream one that looks really good, so we couldn't pass it up. Whoa! You were supposed to be taking a nap, and I found him standing in his crib like this. I had him laying down with his blanket on him, and I walked past, and he's standing in his crib. As you guys saw in our last vlog, I was talking about how um, I had ordered Hendrix a little foam mattress topper. Well, it's here. It's heavy. I mean, obviously, it's, like, compressed down and stuff, but, like, that's going to be nice. That's for you, Hendrix. He's like, I'm going for it. I'm going to go get it. it. I'm going to go get it. Come get it. This is for you. Oh, what else? Got you a little teether. Because I know these ones are your favorite. Oh, you got a car over there. Yeah, that's for you, buddy. to leave it out so that it can decompress and then I'll put it on Hendrix's bed and hopefully he will sleep better it feels really good it's two inches thick I think is what it said um, it's definitely a lot thinner than I thought it was gonna be which is good what do you think that feels a lot better whoa oh. Was that a soft landing? Yeah, the cushion your fall. Now, the next thing we have to purchase is the breathable uh, bumper. Because we don't have one of those yet, so that'll be our next purchase, huh? Good afternoon, guys. I just got done filming a haul video for you guys. I'm really happy that I kept my old red camera because that's the only way I was able to get this video filmed. I love using the Canon S110, but I've been having problems with it. Um, when I do sit down videos, it kind of like focuses in and out. It doesn't go blurry, but you can tell that it's just constantly trying to focus. And I can't even bear to watch that, so I'm not even going to try to upload that. I broke out my lights to make it nice and bright in here. And I wish it was this bright in here all the time. Like it feels so good. I have a good energy. But now I have this huge mess to clean up. I have all these clothes, but I'm so excited because now we can wash them and you can wear your new clothes. You still got breakfast on the side of your face. Do you guys see that? You still got breakfast on the side of your face. <laughs> we don't have much planned today. I am going to change my shirt so it doesn't get dirty um, because it is just brand new. But, whoa. Yeah, we don't have much planned today. I know I want to go to Sam's. We have to go pay rent. 
He is so proud of himself every time he pulls himself up there, aren't you? You're just so proud of yourself. Whoa, one hand, whoa. Nice catch. <laughs> you are so silly. I thought I would give you guys a little update as well as to how he's sleeping in his crib. Um, now that we've added that foam pad, which a lot of you guys, okay, I think there's actually one of you that asked where we ordered it. Um, I got it off of Amazon. It's by Millard, I believe. This is his second night. No, this will be his third night sleeping in it with having that foam pad in there. The first night, we ended up having to put the pillow back in there for him to sleep on. And last night, he did fantastic. He slept really well. Um, I definitely think he's going to start sleeping through the night or close to through the night. Um, here pretty quick. Oh my goodness. Really? I think that had a lot to do with the fact that he wasn't rolling off of a pillow in the middle of the night. So hopefully this means that he'll be sleeping through the night here soon. I guess we'll see. But I'm very happy that we purchased the foam pad. Um, it's definitely made a difference in his sleep so far. <laughs> is finally done for a nap which means I'm gonna put these clothes away probably do a load of laundry since it is pretty much the weekend um, but the nice thing about getting new clothes is that you get to go through your old ones look I can finally say goodbye to this white shirt since I got a new one um, it's like stained I'm happy I can finally say goodbye to that one and then I can also say goodbye to my old black tank top I've had this since I was like pregnant and it's just like falling apart. I think I paid like two dollars or something like that from Aeropostale but it's just like yeah it's gotta go but kind of just going through my clothes figuring out what I can get rid of. Pretty much just moved the entire mess that was in the living room to my bed but I'm just taking like tags off of stuff so like the Carter's tags. That way I can put these in Hendrix's laundry basket and get them washed this weekend. My living room is now clean for the most part which makes me so happy. Um, I hate having a huge mess, especially when guests get home. I feel so bad when our house is like a mess. Um, but for the most part, it just generally looks like this. But as you guys would notice, the green chair is gone. Gus and I got rid of it like a, about a week ago. We ended up just throwing it away. We were going to DI it. <laughs> to go there were buttons missing and there was a hole in it and it just it's really not worth any money um, so I didn't want to take it to the DI and then have them put it out and make somebody pay money for it because it just it wasn't worth anything so we got rid of that and I'm so happy that we did I feel like this is a repeat of the last vlog that I just posted but we're eating lunch Gus is home what's new um, we're again having like the same thing as my last vlog just because I'm trying to finish up what we have in the fridge before I go grocery shopping. Oh, did you eat it all or did you lose it? Is that yummy? You're a loud eater, you know that? There's a piece of watermelon if you want it. You got it? Good job. It still like blows my mind that he can feed himself now. He's not just relying on me. Seems so crazy. Hey guys, so first of all I want to say don't mind my look. I realized I didn't end the vlog and I didn't just want it to like end randomly. I have zero face makeup on aside from a little mascara, my hair like, girl this is postpartum hair right here, like this is what my hair looks like nowadays. I have all of this around there, all over here. That's just what my hair is doing nowadays, so don't mind that, don't mind the look. Um, I just wanted to quickly say sorry for not posting a whole ton, I've kind of been feeling a little bit down in the dumps, I'm just really stressed out like financially and stuff, you know we have a ton of bills that we have to pay. And um, luckily Gus is getting a second job, so that'll help us out quite a bit. Um, you know, money will definitely still be tight, but we're really hoping 
to take like a little vacation for Hendrix's first birthday, which is in like three months. So that is so stinking crazy. Like he's already gonna be a year old. I will see you soon. I have a ton of videos coming your way. Bye.